internet people did you just buy a new hosting but now you actually have to move your existing site to the new hosting in this video i'll show you how you can move your wordpress site to the new hosting but still keep the same domain and you will have no downtime and you can still do it even if you're not a tech savvy person like this guy look at him coding on the radio tape sweat punch here are the steps we will take during this tutorial it looks like a lot but they are fairly easy and as an example i'll be moving my website from godaddy to hostpapa but this will work on any hosting provider it's showtime so let's get started by installing updraft plus plugin to copy all the files to do that go to your wordpress dashboard in the current website in the left menu navigate to plugins and choose add new in the search bar type updraft install the plugin and don't forget to activate it in my case i already have this plugin as i use it to back up my website to google drive just to show you i'm going to switch to my other site to show you how this looks like when you don't have the plugin pre-installed once you've activated the plugin you should see updraft plus in your top navigation hover over it and choose backup restore then scroll down a little and click on the backup now button it will ask you what to back up, but you can keep things as is and click on backup now. Now the plugin will start to back up your WordPress onto your host. Once it's done, you will see buttons like these under existing backups. I'll switch the view back to my actual website. Yours looks slightly different, but just click on all the five buttons like these. It will start preparing the files for you. You can pause the video until it's done. Once it's done, just download the files to your computer one by one. Arnie, how was that? Only pain. While you're downloading the backups, let's set up WordPress in a new hosting. Go to cPanel of your new hosting provider. In my case, it's HostPapa. Then in the search bar, look for soft. We need this Softaculous installer. It might look slightly different in your hosting, but it has the same name and just click on it then. Next, find WordPress and click on install. You can keep most settings as default, but make sure you're installing this WordPress instance in the root of your domain. So check that it doesn't have something like forward slash blog or something like that. No problemo. Then create WordPress admin username and password. This is what you're going to use to access WordPress dashboard. So save the credentials somewhere and add the email here. I like to manually update my WordPress, so I'll disable the auto upgrade. Don't select any templates and just click on install. You can pause the video until it's done. Okay, now installation is done and it's basically telling you that the WordPress has been installed on the domain. But that's not really the case as your new hosting doesn't have control over the domain yet. We're going to change that a bit later. So if you click on the link that appears there, you will actually see the site on your old hosting provider and you will confuse john even more so to preview your site on your new hosting before you change the dns is actually quite simple and we will use a website called hosts.cx if you've received an email from hosting provider about the temporary url then you can use that essentially this website will create a temporary url where you will be able to access your website for this to work, you will need your server address and website name. So let's get those. Go to the cPanel of the new hosting provider. On the right, under general information, you should see shared IP address. Or if you're on dedicated server, it'll say dedicated IP address. Just copy the IP address to your clipboard. If you don't see this, then click on the server information link and find the shared IP address. Let's paste this IP address in the server address field in hosts.cx and add your website name. It's usually your domain with the ending like .com, but it might be also without it. And just check the reCAPTCHA and click on get my testing URL button. The website will create a link and a QR code in case you want to view the page on mobile. Just click on it to see your website on the new hosting. You should now see a very simple WordPress site as we didn't install any theme yet. And if you add 
WP Admin at the end of the URL, you are able to access your WordPress. Let's do that now by using the admin login details that we got a bit earlier. Arnie, does that sound right? Wrong. Okay, since we are in WordPress dashboard on the new hosting, let's quickly install Updraft Plus also here. Go to your WordPress dashboard. In the left hand menu, navigate to plugins and choose add new. In the search bar, type Updraft, install the plugin and don't forget to activate it. After activation, you might see that it has switched the URL back to your real domain. Just change it back to host.cx. I'll just replace punchsalad.com with host.cx in the URL, but I'll keep the rest the same. Hopefully by now your backups have finished downloading on your computer. If not, pause this video and resume when they are fully downloaded, because now we can import your website on the new hosting. Once Updraft Plus is installed, you should see it in the top menu. Just hover over it and select Backup Restore. Scroll down and under Existing Backups, click on Upload Backup Files. Select the five files you downloaded in the beginning of this video. This might take a bit of a time. You can just pause this video while waiting. In case you get an error, PHP memory limit exceeded or similar, you need to increase the limit through cPanel. A video of how to do that will appear on your screen's top right corner now. Okay, let's make it quick because my voice is getting tired. Now, let's restore your website on your new hosting. In the Updraft Plus page, make sure you are in the existing backups tab. Just scroll down until you see your backups and then click on the restore button of the latest backup. Check all the checkboxes as we want to restore everything. Before you click on restore, double check that you are on your new hosting provider. You can easily see this from the URL. Updraft Plus will start restoring your website now. Just pause the video for this to finish. And once it's done, you will see a page like this and it will notify you if there were any errors. I know you're thinking like this guy. Get out of here. Get out of here, man! It can't be this simple, but it is. Your website should be restored on the new hosting. So now it's time to test that everything went well. So head to temporary URL and start checking your website. Does it look the same? Does it have the same images and content as before? Just click around and make sure everything went well. Now let's go back to WordPress dashboard of the new hosting. If you see this message from WordPress, just go ahead and update WordPress. Next, let's create a test page on new hosting to distinguish the two hostings from each other. In the left menu, let's go to all pages and then click on add new. We will create a test page just so we can make sure that we know when the website on the new hosting is actually visible to everybody. So just create a simple page with an easy URL. I'll just do test dash page, then publish the page, and then go to your test page. Keep this URL close as you will need it soon. Arnie, what's the name of your test page? Get down, get down, get down. If you're enjoying this video so far, I would appreciate if you can hit the like button. That will help me with the YouTube algorithm and push this video even higher. Thanks a lot. Okay, so we are almost done. We just need to change the domain's DNS to point to the new hosting. The process is easy, but you need to be patient as it might take up to 48 hours for the changes to propagate worldwide. But usually you can see changes within an hour or so. Please note that if your website has subdomains that are running on different WordPress installation, then you will need to repeat the previous steps for each subdomain. Yeah, sorry, that probably sounded like this. You are not you, you are me. No shit. Please note that we are not transferring the domain to the new hosting provider. We are just pointing the domain to the new host. You will still need to renew the domain subscription at your old hosting. If you want to fully transfer the domain, then check out the video that appears on your screen in the top right corner now. Let's start with the DNS change. Log in to the service you bought the domain from. In my case, it's GoDaddy. Yours might look a bit different, but the steps are almost the same, no matter where you bought the domain from. 
navigate to the domain section then from the list find the domain you want to point to the new hosting and go to the domain settings usually you can do it by simply clicking on the domain in GoDaddy you need to find manage DNS but in yours it might be called slightly differently basically you need to be able to update the name servers as you can see there are a lot of settings on this page just to be sure I'm going to save all the settings by taking a screenshot of the page I'm using a Chrome extension called full page screen capture it's going to create a full page screenshots surprise surprise just in case I will need them later next we will change the name service for the domain this should also point the subdomains to the new hosting find a section with name servers and in the drop down choose custom usually when you sign up to a hosting they will send you a welcome email that includes the name servers if you don't have that email the easiest way to find what your new hosting name servers are is by googling in case of hostpapa and siteground the name servers are the same for most people but for example in godaddy it's a bit harder a video about how to find name servers on GoDaddy will appear in the right corner of your screen now. Once you've found the name servers, copy and paste them in the name server fields, like this. Now you just need to wait as it might take up to 48 hours, but usually the DNS changes appear within an hour. Meanwhile, here's an educational video about how to learn to dance, like JC does. Please do not try this at home. Tips with Punch cannot be held liable for any hurt feelings while wearing a tank top with suspenders. And there is a high chance of you getting your ass kicked while wearing it. So I've waited for about 45 minutes. So let me show you how you can test if the name servers have been updated. The easy way is to open a private window and try to go to the test page URL with your real domain. If you see page not found, then it's still on the old hosting. As soon as you can see the page, then it's the new hosting. So, I've waited another 30 minutes and another way is to use a website like hostingchecker.com and it will check it for you. Just enter your domain name and see which hosting it gives. In my case, it's actually telling me that it's on the new hosting. And when I go to the test page, I get this warning. It's okay, it's just an SSL certificate that is not matching. So just click on advanced and then on the proceed to link we will fix that in a bit and boom my website is now moved to my new hosting eventually the dns will propagate worldwide and technically speaking the process looks like this what the hell what but i still need to fix the ssl in my case host papa comes with the free let's encrypt ssl I just need to refresh it and enable it. And I can do it by going to cPanel and searching for SSL. Here, just click on Run SSL. And now, if you go to your website, you have the green padlock. Or if you already have an SSL installed on your old host, then you can copy the keys and paste them in the new hosting. So to do that, go to your cPanel and just search for SSL and click on it. Then choose Manage SSL Sites, scroll down to your domain and click on Use Certificate for a new site. Then copy and paste these three certificates to your new host. But if your hosting provider doesn't have a free SSL, yes GoDaddy, I'm talking to you. Well, then you can check out the video that appears in your top right corner now and I'll show you how to get a free SSL on GoDaddy. If you're looking to master the digital world while getting entertained, then hit the subscribe button and find the bell icon so you get the, all the updates.